So tonight we're installing this killer upgrade. This is a buggy leaf suspension from Twisted Fab Coals on Instagram. Mahalo's my brother for getting this out to me. Stoked to put this on. So what is this gonna do? It's gonna get rid of our hanger right here. And we're gonna be able to, to adjust this mount or this pivot point. So where that just moves a little bit back like that. Now we're gonna be able to get it to either lay flat or you know not as much. Way more tuning options. So yeah, stoked to throw this bad boy on there. Brother Casey, mahalo a lot, bro. So you know, let's get into this build. Okay, so before we start this build, I just wanna point out that Brother Casey put some time and love to these springs. He hand bends all of these bad boys. So hand bend, shaves them down files the edges for your leaf brings together all these killer parts you know for his setup so again mahalo for that my man so i started by taking off the tire that way i gave myself a little bit more space to work no point of it being there if it doesn't have to be there right so with this setup i have to remove my shocks and we relocate them to a different spot So before we can put the shocks back on, we have to make some minor changes. Because they're double main leaves, I no longer need the springs to help support the weight. So those are coming off. So now we're gonna disconnect our rear shackle from our rear shackle mount because with this setup, we won't need this anymore. So because my bed sits so low on my frame, it gives me some clearance issues. So I have to run my U-bolts upside down. Don't worry, it doesn't affect anything. It all works the same. So once we get our bracket onto our U-bolts, we're gonna start by putting our hardware on, but just barely. With our hardware on, we can slide our spacer in between the frame and our bracket. He labels them which way is front and which way goes to the frame. Then we're gonna slide our main leaf right between our bracket and that spacer. I'm just gonna tighten everything up. So once we're all tight, we're going to reconnect our rear shackle to our new mounting point. Reconnect our shocks. And there you go. We got a new rear setup, guys.